craziest ending to Euphoria yet. Rue gets sent off planet and her new drug of choice is Spice. Welcome to the Cine Fanatics. My name is Robert Adams. I'm Chris Adams. And we've got a trailer. This is like the third trailer for the second Dune. Yeah, so we've gotten three trailers now. We've done reactions to I don't know how many of them. Like, they're all starting to blend into one giant, like, desert tattooing looking kind of movie. <laughs> to be fair, we probably should have gotten this movie already, or it would have been normally opening within the next week or two. Uh, it was supposed to open at the beginning of November. Oh, okay, it was supposed to open at the beginning of So we would have seen this movie already. So uh, I'm guessing this is supposed to be the last trailer that we're supposed to see before it opens. But I, what's the new release date? I have no idea. It'll let us know. It'll probably tell us. Let's get into this trailer. Pretty. Okay. Cool people are not supposed to look at explosions. Come here. It's been a while since you've had one of those nightmares. Tell me. What was it about? Hey, look, Zendaya is actually in this oh, movie this time. Is. My nightmare's about Tom Holland stealing my girl. Nothing's clear. You've been fighting the Harkonnens for decades. Luke! My family's been fighting them for centuries. Your blood. I feel like you need to have a new game plan then. The great houses. <laughs> Something's not working. Here, we're equal. What we do, we do for the benefit of all. Well, I'd very much like to be equal to you. Maybe I'll show you the way. Hey! Let's put our lips together and see what happens. That's some dang sexy dirty talk right there. Deal with this prophet. Send assassins. Fade Rather. He's psychotic. Is uh, Elvis doing his best uh, Gene Simmons impression? possible futures all at once and then so many futures our enemies prevail I do see a way relax there Dr. Strange there is a way through oh god that's horrifying my allegiance is to you do you believe me? This music is fantastic. Yeah. This is a form of power that our world has not yet seen. The ultimate power. I want you to know I will love you as long as I breathe. Dude, the cinematography on this. As long as you stay who you are. Consider what you're about to do, you fool of Traedis. Dang! He said, sit down. We are not prepared for Dune Part 2. Yeah, okay, that looks like a good time. That looks like a movie you see on a gigantic screen. Yeah, that's a, that's going to be a big old movie screen type movie right there. Dune. Dune. Uh, yeah, I am, I'm on board. Like, I'm riding a worm. I'm on, yeah. I'm on board, like, kind of like that. Uh, I... People You'd be who like have, Bert from Tremors. <laughs> people who have frequented our channel, uh, we did reactions, I believe, to the first uh, Dune trailers because mm -hmm. um, we've been around that long now. Um, it wasn't that long ago. Uh, these these movies are are not ones that are necessarily built for, say, like us specifically, because I think, you know, because we didn't read the books or yeah. you watched the first one, I or the original one. I haven't seen the original one. We call it the original one, right? The David Lynch 1984 Dune, yes. Bingo. Yeah. Um, so in this time period, we still haven't read the books. Yeah. we're not the book fanatics. We're not, the cine fanatics. Yeah, not... Listen, not big book readers. Just deal with it, okay? Um, but the first movie was a very beautiful looking movie. It was yeah. gorgeous cinematography. Acting was fantastic. The story is... I, I know the word they were using around that time, and it's still true. It's very dense. 
Mm -hmm. It's a very dense movie to get into. The second one, I've heard rumors that it is definitely going to be a lot more action forward. So it might be a little less dense. Uh, People who are big Dune fans will probably let us know in the comments. Feel absolutely free. We love the ad engagement. Uh, but I'm expecting a movie that's going to be a lot more inviting or engaging for folks who may not necessarily have been big into the Dune books. Yeah, when comparing this to like the David Lynch Dune, uh, if you were looking at this just within the bubble of what was shown in David Lynch's Dune without mm-hmm. reading the books, you may think there's really not much left to this. There's like one other like big fight with like the emperor and then of course there's the the face off between uh was it Fayed and uh Paul Atreides Mm -hmm. and that's about it in comparison to David Lynch's Dune there's a lot more that's put into this movie to expand to to basically give a reason for this movie for a part two to actually exist it looks like they're diving in a lot more with like the emperor his family Uh, I believe uh, Florence Pugh is actually playing the emperor's daughter Mm -hmm. which I don't remember that being a character in David Lynch's Dune yeah. Probably is in the books. Again, let us know down below in the comments. But yeah, it looks like they're stretching that whole thing out to to give us one full movie again. Which is great because, I mean, at the same time, you know, that there are more than... There, there's more books. There's yeah. more books in the Dune family that they may or may not inevitably cover in movie form. I know uh, Denis Villeneuve has at least... Uh, said that he's wanting to do a part three. Like, like he's been tossing around the idea of like sticking with this IP and just building it out a little bit. At more. least doing a trilogy. Yeah, and I don't know again if the storyline uh, can be stopped at a trilogy or if there's more stories to tell. Again, we haven't read the books. I think also a large part of it is going to be, you know, unfortunately the way the movie business works. What's the box office take? And is WB wanting to crank out more of these bad boys? Very likely at this point, but we'll see. Ooh, it's just a good thing that Zazalive hasn't uh, shuddered this movie. <laughs> Ooh, people would riot. That'd be crazy. Uh, but- yeah, I think the number one selling point for me on these Dune movies, yeah, they like you were saying, they are dense. They are hard to dive into to get into, at least for me on that perspective i think what's really drawing me in is like everything else about this movie it's uh, everything other than the story the cinematography the music the direction the cast this cast is stacked again and that's what's really pulling me (laughs) and now on top of that you're adding christopher walken which is always a good time yeah christopher walken and florence Pugh and uh austin butler joining the cast for this go round. yeah this is going to be a good good movie it lo- it looks good it looks um fun is not the word i would say it just looks like a a version of a good time at the theater yeah like enthralling captivating enthralling, engaging yeah yeah all of those all those lovely words those big like 12th grade words <laughs> Whatever. I don't remember any of them. It's been so long. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to be our reaction for this Dune trailer. What did you think of it? Let us know down below in the comments. While you are down there, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button. We're closing in on 2,000 subscribers. Help us get there before the end of this month, before the end of this year. That would be our Christmas wish over here at the Cinefanatic. So please help us get there. Also, make sure you follow us on social media. We are at the Cinefanatics on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. You can follow me personally at Robert Adams MLP on Twitter, Instagram, Letterbox, and also YouTube.com slash at Robert Adams MLP. You can follow me at Chris Adams MLP on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterbox, as well as twitch.tv slash Chris Adams MLP. Anyways, that's going to do it for this reaction. Thank you for watching. We will see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Dude. Dude.